In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the bass line from Come Together by the Beatles. Of course, this is Paul McCartney on bass, and the line itself is one of the most recognisable bass lines in history, so it's a really, really important line for any bass player to learn. Now, the good news is, if you've just got started with the bass guitar, this is quite an attainable line to play because it's relatively simple. So if you want to see a full transcription of this piece with tabs, make sure you click on the link below. That's going to take you to my free 61-page guide to playing the bass. There's tons of useful information in there uh, for beginning bass players. And you'll also find a transcription of this song, of course, and plenty of others as well. OK, so let's check out the main bass line from Come Together. This line is an absolutely fantastic example of just how much you can do with basic chord tones. So what McCartney does here is he takes the notes from the underlying D minor chord, D, F and A, and he uses those notes, and only those notes, to create a bass line. So we start by playing two Ds. I'm playing those two Ds at the fifth fret of the A string. From there we're going to slide up the A string to the A at the 12th fret. Now I recommend using your fourth finger to arrive at that A. Like that. Now in that position, you'll be able to reach across and play the F at the 10th fret of the G string using your first finger. So we've used all three notes from the D minor chord, D, F and A but in a very creative way, of course. And uh, you'll notice that when we get that F into the, uh, into the line, all of a sudden it just sounds so much more colourful, and that's because the F note is the note that makes the D minor chord a minor chord. So to finish off this one bar bass line, we're just going to play a final note. It's going to be the D at the 12th fret of the D string. We're going to play that note and slide downwards. So put all of that together, and you get this. And again. Simple one bar bass line, but so effective. So once the verse arrives, we're going to play that line four times, and then the chord changes to A, and we're going to have to play something a little bit different. So a similar kind of a thing, but it's going to sound like this. So we play two open A strings. Then we play the C at the 5th fret of the G string. And then we play the octave A at the 7th fret of the D string. And slide down. We're going to play that twice. And then the chord changes to G. And we just play a single G, 3rd fret of the E string. And let that ring for a whole bar. And that's followed by a bar where we don't play anything. And that's, uh, that's going to give us... The, uh, the verse structure. So four times through that D minor riff, two times through the A riff, onto the G for a bar, and then a bar of silence. That gives us an eight bar structure. And that's the verse section of the song. Now going back to that D minor bass line, there's a couple of fills that McCartney plays throughout the song. And you can dot similar fills in uh, as and when you feel the need. And uh, these are very, very simple. And what, what he typically does is just plays little hammer-on figures between the F and the G at the 10th and 12th frets of the G string. That kind of thing. It doesn't need to be much more than that. So very, very simple fill, but very McCartney, very, very effective as well. OK, that brings us uh, to the end of the verse sections. Let's see what happens in the chorus. Okay, so the chorus is very simple to play, and we just need three notes, B, A, and G. We're going to play all of these notes on the uh, E string. So the B is at the 7th fret, the A is at the 5th fret, and the G is at the 3rd fret. And we're going to be playing two notes per beat here. So 
we're going to play six notes on the B. One and two and three and. And then two on the A. That gives us the first bar of the chorus. And then we move down to, uh, to G, play four notes. And back to the A for one. And that brings us to the end of the chorus. Very, very simple. If you've managed to get the verse bass line down, that's going to give you no trouble whatsoever. Now, with everything that I've shown you in this lesson, you should have all that you need to play the entire song now, because if you look at the piano solo section and the guitar solo section, you're really just chugging along on single notes for those sections. And then after that, there's another verse and a chorus reusing the same parts that we've looked at already. Okay guys, thanks for checking out this song with me. I hope you enjoyed working through it. Don't forget to click on the link below to download your PDF guide to playing the bass, which contains a transcription of this song and several others. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this in the future. And if you have any suggestions for songs that you'd like to see me cover in these videos, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.